Hey guys, welcome to our channel, A Smarter House, your permanent solution for all your smart home queries and problems. Here's another episode of intelligent smart home automation with convenient and budget-friendly devices. In today's video, we'll build smart indoor automation with motion sensors. So without wasting any time, let's get started. When you have automated lights but require voice or worse, an app to turn them on and off, they're not smart. They're just an inconvenient switch. The most obvious way to have your lights turn on automatically when you need them is to use a small motion sensor, such as this Acara FP1, which detects motion very quickly. In addition to automating lights, you can use them to pause the robot vacuum cleaner if someone walks into a room while it's cleaning. When motion sensors fail to detect small movements, you end up frantically waving your arms around in an attempt to get them to turn the lights back on. The Acaria FP1 presence detection sensor, on the other hand, uses millimeter radar waves that can detect very small amounts of movement to determine whether or not there is someone in the room. When compared to other motion sensors, it has a very short delay. When combined with the Home Assistant sensor group, they instantly detect whether or not a room is occupied and triggered, setting the sensor group to presence detected. When you leave the room, the lights will turn on instantly and turn off quickly. The FP1 is the first commercially available presence detector that maps out what it sees using millimeter radar waves. It's extremely reliable and can detect presence from up to 5 meters away. It has a 120 degree horizontal field of view and a 40 degree vertical field of view. The placement of motion sensors, like most other sensors, is critical. Because these sensors can detect very small amounts of motion, keep them pointed away from anything that could move and create a false sense of movement. This sensor functions similarly to any other Zigbee sensor, and it can be paired with a home assistant via Zigbee to MQTT. Connect the FP1 and the standard Acara PIR motion sensor to a home assistant group. To achieve this, navigate to the settings menu in home assistant, then to the helpers section, create a new helper, select the group helper, and then select a binary sensor group, adding both the motion sensor and the millimeter wave presence sensor to this group leave all sensors toggled, and then save this group. The PIR motion sensor in the group includes a light meter, allowing you to use a second condition to automate lights based on the ambience of the room. These sensors can detect more than just lights. If you have smart thermostats, you could easily create automation that turns on and off the heating or cooling based on whether or not there are people in the room, or you could use a combination of presence and time-based automation to open your smart curtains or blinds when you first enter a room each day. These sensors can also be used with music systems and smart vacuum cleaners. If your vacuum cleaner is set to clean the kitchen, the automation will first check to see if the kitchen is occupied before beginning to clean. If there are people in the kitchen, it waits for at least five minutes until the kitchen present sensor group detects no presence. Bluetooth tracking sensors with motion and FP1 sensors function similarly to the group we created. But in addition, they check a variety of sensor states including your smartphones, smart devices, your family members' smartphones, smart wearables, and even other motion sensors. It now generates presence-based automation, not only when a room is occupied, but also customizes that automation based on who is in which room. With this data, you can create a personalized atmosphere for each and every person by detecting their qualitative presence. This will require you to play with a lot of combinations of motion sensors, but it will be worth it. You can use it to operate, automate, and customize a room's ambience, heating or cooling, closing or opening blinds, operating music systems, or even the smart robot cleaners. This too, for all the rooms and persons separately. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. Subscribe to the channel for more smart and useful content. I'll be back with more crazy smart home solutions soon. Till then, keep exploring.